It's a white structure. Can you see it, please? Kindly come closer. Please come this way. I don't think you can see where you are. All right, that's a white structure. The white structure at the top of the hill is a fort. There's a difference between a fort and a slave castle. That fort is called Fort William. It was established by the English slavers in order to serve as a watch post. There was a strong rivalry amongst the Europeans. The amount of gold that Europeans saw in West Africa was very shocking. So they wanted everything. All of them were trying to make money from the rich Africans. The French, the Portuguese, the Dutch tried to seize the castle from the British slavers. So this fort there was built to supervise this castle. Anytime the French, the Dutch, and the other Europeans tried to come closer to this castle, the English slaves Slavers there could see them coming. Yes. So they'll just wave flags so or put, alert those. They built the moat around yes, please. The Cape Coast Castle has got two forts. The one we saw, the one we see there is called Fort William. Mm -hmm. You can't see Fort Victoria from this angle. But when you get to the bedroom of the English governor, I'm going to show you the, the, the fort you call Fort Victoria. Now this part of Cape Coast, you see the, the structure closer to the castle. That's a church. It is an Anglican church. And I made mention of the fact that the church on top of the male slave dungeon was an Anglican church. The church right there at that far end with the pointed roof is a Catholic church. And the one to the right is a Methodist church. These churches were built by the slavers in order to Christianize the Africans. This part of Cape Coast is called the Chapel Square. They brainwash a lot of people from this angle. I wouldn't lie. Brainwash is a very powerful tool. You only teach your children what you know, unless they tap into a different knowledge. There was a generation of Africans who got brainwashed. They believe so much in the white Jesus. Did you see the white pictures? Still do. Of Jesus, the white pictures. Yes. They are many. All over the chocho, on the back of the chocho. That's all you see. Uh huh. The cars. It's not even the real Jesus. Why do they have that out there? The Choto Drivers. They lie. Europeans like lying. Very much. Let me show the, 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 the residents. Oh, yeah. Let me show you the one. Let me show you the one. So this place is the living room of the English governor. The living room of the English slave governor has nine windows. And that's the bedroom of the English slave governor. It has five windows. In totality, there are 14 windows for just one person. The air is fresh, the views are very beautiful, everything here is very comfortable, very spacious. And when you look through this window, at the far end, you can see another community. That community is Elmina. That is where Elmina Castle is located. 
El Minaslip Castle was built by the Portuguese in 1482. It was later seized by the Dutch, bought by the English slavers. Now I'd like to give you just 20 seconds, take your time, relax, you can go in the bedroom before we see the church on top of the male dungeon. Please. This way, please. These windows to this day. When you see my folks house, they got windows all the way around it. So many we keep the same thing. Like we said, they predictable. They don't see it. They don't they so predictable, they don't even see a change coming unless somebody tell them. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? If you keep the stick quiet, we can move. You know, they predict, you're right, they predict. And they think just because they've been on top that nobody else can, 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 can smite them. You see what I'm saying? The only reason why they've been able to, able to, because like you say, they bring some people brainwash. Oh no, 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 you know? The only reason why. This way. It has five windows. And when you go through this window, at the far end, there's another fort. That's the fort we call Fort Victoria. Can you see it from this angle? Look above the coconut tree, please. Yeah. French, the Dutch, the Portuguese wanted to seize Kiko's castle from the British. So they built those two forts in order to supervise the activities around the slave castle. So let me show you the church on top of the male slave dungeon. Please, you take your time, you walk slowly. The floor is very slippery. Please come. Here. 